Good day and welcome to our course on the Unified Communications Advanced Software. This software is from Mitel and it does tie into our phone system to help us make, receive and control calls. It also lets others know our status and lets us see the status of other people. It lets us chat with them, that's text chat. It lets us transfer files up to 20 meg. It is for internal users only. There are people like Kevin who are overseas who do have the software. Luis and James, who are out of the country, who will be out of the country as well, also have the software. Okay, so by now you should have the uh, cheat sheet in front of you, and you should also have the um, software running. So let's get started. I'm going to minimize that. To make this easy, we're going to call this UCA as opposed to Unified Communications Advanced. So this is the UCA's contacts view. There are several views available on the right hand side here. One is contacts. The second is call history. The third is communications and the fourth is launchpad. Okay, so let's start with the launchpad. The launchpad is just a shortcut bar uh, that lets us have a shortcut to a phone number, to a web page, or to a program. So let's go add one for a web page. So I'm going to right click, select add item, and I'm going to put in uh, arcus.com. I'm going to change it from dial a number to browse to an URL, which is just a, an address. And we're going to type in arcus.com as the URL with the HTTP colon slash slash. And boom, there it is. Now if I click on that, it will launch, it, it'll launch Internet Explorer and it will bring up Arcus.com. So I'm gonna move that back out of the way now. And again, I could make this for phone numbers. Let's move on. So we've got communications now. Communications, this is uh, simply the, the phones that are assigned to you. So it's not very useful uh, for the purpose of this conversation. We're gonna move on from it. The next thing is the, your call history. This is very useful. This shows you the outbound calls you've made, the inbound calls that you've received, and most importantly, the missed calls. And if you want to make a call, if you want to call somebody back, you simply double click on the phone and call them up. You don't have to uh, go punch numbers into the phone. You can simply dial, you can simply dial by clicking out. Well, here's a call from Melanie. Imagine that, because I just phoned her and gave up. I could answer the call, I could forward the call, or I can send her to voicemail. I'm going to send her to voicemail. And now you can see the UCA software tells me that I have a voicemail, and it tells me I also have a missed call, which I do, because that's from Melanie. And you can also see it added it here. She's apparently on the wireless. Okay, so let's move on uh, to the main portion of the program. This is the most useful portion of the Unified Communications software. We can see here that Melanie is in the system. And I've had a few calls with her since the system has been up and running as she's been one of the beta testers. I'm going to right click on her and I'm going to select detailed call history. And in here I can see all the calls I've had with her and when. And I can see how long they were. Some of them are quite short, some of them are quite long. Uh, I can also chat with Melanie. Now I've already done that and we're going to show you that in a minute with, uh, with Larita and a few others. But uh, I can see the chat history with Melanie. I can right click on Melanie and I can see chat history. These are all of the conversations we've had since uh, we started testing this. It's very helpful if you're trying to go back and verify that something's been said. Uh, you can see here that uh, Larita is in the system and by the time you get this, everybody's picture will be in and everybody will have the software loaded and running. Um, but you can see here that there's uh, something called presence, which is right here. There's a little green uh, bubble which shows their chat status, her chat status and her uh, phone status. So right now she's not on the phone and she is uh, available online. So I could right click and chat with her. This will automatically change to away after 10 minutes. Uh, but uh, so for instance here, you can see Melanie has been away from her computer for about 10 minutes. This just, if you were paying attention, this just changed a second ago. So she's probably, I know she's walking around on the wireless. So that's uh, why her, her computer is not showing any activity. Uh, let's see if we can see anybody on the phone. There we go. So right now, Darla Henderson is on the phone. Uh, see the little red icon there with the off the hook? It's kind of neat. Okay, so say we wanted to chat with, uh, let's go down to Larita again. Let's pick on Larita. So I'm gonna right click on Larita and I can chat. I'm gonna bring this window down so you can see it. And I'm gonna add Mike into the chat. So I'm just gonna drag it over. And now I can chat with both of them at the same time. I could send them a smiley face. Uh, I could add other people in, but it's so much easier just to drag them in from the main software. This is kind of silly to do it from here. 
or I can transfer files up to 20 megabyte. And because it's all internal, it's very fast. Another thing to note about this is that the co chat conversations are, be, are recorded in the system. We have no intention of going through them right now, but uh, you know things do change over time. And uh, so just as a privacy thing, you should be aware that the re recordings are made of the chat sessions. So just be careful with what you say. Don't uh, come off too flippant. Okay, so I'm done chatting with these people. I could, I could uh, if I did want to type anything here, I could simply slap the enter key and send that smiley face. So I'm going to close this now because I don't actually want to send that. Um, if I want to phone somebody, say Mike, I can just double click and boom, there it is. Now I'm phoning them and I'm going to hang up on them because, well, it's Mike and that's just a fun thing to do. So no, I'm going to hang up uh, on Mike because I don't want to bother him. Um, let's go through the settings here. If I wish to make Mike uh, one of my favorites, I can right click on him and I can say add to favorites. And now he will show up in here in this little uh, star in the top right hand corner. Uh, this is beginning back to my corporate contacts and I can also add personal contacts by right clicking and, and adding as well. Right click and add new personal contact, type in whatever information I want and it will show up in here. If I want to filter to search for somebody, I simply go to the bottom and type in, uh, let's search for Anne because she's right there. So we're going to click on Anne, type in uh, Anne and uh, there she is. And I could again just double click on her and phone her. Um, something to note that's quite important is the status at the bottom of, uh, of her section here tells you her Outlook status. So if she's in a meeting, it will change her status to in a meeting and it will automatically change out when the meeting is, is uh, uh, scheduled to be finished. So if you come back to your desk from a meeting and you're still showing as in a, me as, as in a meeting and you want to get out of that, simply click at the top right hand corner here and, s and change it to in the office. Now this is quite useful. Um, the top, the, probably the only real issue with the software is that it doesn't change to gone for the day or away or some equivalent uh, when you've left your machine and, uh, and logged out. So you have to do it yourself. So at the end of the day, or when you're gone to lunch, just click on the icon at the top here and select uh, whatever is appropriate. Uh, when I get back to my desk, I can click on the icon at the top here. I can select uh, back in the office and I will be happy. If I set it to things like gone for the day, you'll see that the icon is different. It, what it will do is change your uh, two phone lines and your call forwarding to on, and it will send the message automatically to voicemail so that people around you don't get annoyed. Um, so when you click on this, again, just change it back in, uh, in the office. And if you find that the default settings here aren't enough, you can select uh, uh, manage statuses. And you can see I've added one here called running around the 21st floor. So let's go into that. If I click on running around the 21st floor, just some text I've typed in here. And I have, uh, I can set my call parameters as to whether I want it to um, go straight to voicemail or whether I would like it to, um, uh, you know, just treat it as if I'm in the office and let it uh, roll normally. So you can see on Do Not Disturb, it goes straight to voicemail and it sets me as offline for instant messages. I'm going to cancel that. In addition to the UCA core software, there's also a tie-in for Internet Explorer. And I'm going to show you that with, inter with uh, iTrack. So if I right, uh, highlight any phone number and I right-click on it and I select Dial with UCA, it will phone, which is a handy little feature. It saves me punching in the numbers and getting them wrong. It shouldn't. St if you highlight uh, a number, it starts with a bracket or something other than a phone number than a number, it won't dial. Oh, oh, but another thing to note is that it doesn't require the nine to dial. It will add that for you. And one more thing is you'll notice that this is not in a field. This is just straight text. So, uh, and that's the only way this will work. If I go into Diane Abbott and uh, her profile and I see that I have a field here with a, with a phone number, if I highlight it and right click, I don't get dial UCA. It only works when it is not in a field, when it's just straight text on the screen. So things like the gusher and other places like that. And that's all, if you have any questions, please give us a call, happy to help, we're at 239, or feel free to chat, and uh, we'll be getting over to help you right away. Thank you, bye-bye.